Hi friends, Sorver, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today we are going to see what is breadcrumb and how we can create that. And uh, basically what is the use of a breadcrumb? Why do we create breadcrumb in, in application? So that is the purpose of today's tutorial. Uh, okay, so, uh, so for that, let me create a page first. Uh, that page will be a, a demo page. So for that, I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to create the page from here. And I'll, I'll say this page as <clears throat> parent page, parent, okay. Let me create this page and let me run this page over here. So this parent page got created, okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another page, okay. And uh, let me create a page from here. I'll create a blank page and I'll, I'll make it as child one okay create page another page got created this is child one okay so now what i'll do i'll make th this is this is a, uh, also a breadcrumb but i want to make this child one will be the child of the parent page okay so what i'll do i'll go to this place here in shared component if we'll go to the breadcrumbs and inside that we have breadcrumb. You'll see all the breadcrumbs. You, you, you can find all the breadcrumbs over here. Okay. So the new one is the this one parent and child one. These these two what we have created just now. So what I'll do, I'll go to this child one. And here uh, <clears throat> in the parent entry, we can choose the, you know, parent uh, uh, breadcrumb actually so once you'll make the change you can see this child one get in, uh, get inside this parent breadcrumb now when you'll uh, refresh it you'll find that this this child one is inside this parent you can see this this is the parent and that is a child uh, child uh, uh, page now let me create another page as child 2 what I'll do, I'll create a I'll create a blank page. This I'll make as child two. Create page. So whenever we are creating the page, a breadcrumb is getting created automatically. Okay. So it's a default feature. You can say that whenever you create a page, a breadcrumb gets created automatically. And that breadcrumb you can see over here. Now let me refresh the page, and you'll you'll see that somewhere here, child two will get created. Okay. So here you can see this child two got created. Now what I'll do, I'll make uh, child two, uh, child two's parent will be child one. Okay, let me make something like this. When we'll do apply change, you can see this is the hierarchy it, it got, got to. Okay, so let me refresh this page now. Okay, now let me uh, run this page first. So here you have child, Two, child two is inside child one, and that is inside parent. So this is what breadcrumb is. Whenever you create a breadcrumb, uh, you, uh, a new you know region, uh, a new uh, you can basically create a you know a child of uh, the parent breadcrumb, and this will give you a path how you know uh, you want to give a hierarchy to your page. So this is one way of representing the breadcrumb. Another way is when you quick edit and click on this. Here you can see this title bar. Go to the template options and you make it as use compact style. OK, save and run. Now you can get the bread, breadcrumb in this way also. So either you can get the breadcrumb in that way or this way. Both are both are fine. It is all up to your requirement. And this is how you can create a breadcrumb in Apex new. Uh, this, this is the recent version on which we are working. So in this version, whenever you create a page, a breadcrumb got created automatically. Okay. And uh, by the way, you can delete this breadcrumb as well. If you'll go to the shared component, uh, here you have this breadcrumb and you'll, when you'll say that delete entry and when you'll delete it, your, uh, you know, child two got deleted. Now, when you'll uh, refresh this page, you can see that you don't have any breadcrumb when you'll go back to 
your breadcrumb stuff you will not be able to find any breadcrumb why because you have deleted your breadcrumb in that case how you what you can do you can create a new breadcrumb just do one thing click on new entry assign a page this is which page this is page number seven so assign a page to this uh, breadcrumb and uh, write the name child 2 give a parent to this as child uh, 1 allocate the page number page 7 and that's all create entry it got created now when you'll refresh this you can find the breadcrumb over here so this is how you can create the breadcrumb or you can you know give the path of any uh, uh, page or you can you know create a hierarchy of the pages like this so that is what breadcrumb and this is how you can create breadcrumb that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching the tutorial thank you